In this first video, I'm explaining the fundamentals of table data in Asteroid. Here we have an example of a simple table. First of all, on the top left, you can see that we have filter all cases. We may choose to filter to, say, males only, or those who live in New South Wales only. In our columns, we have age groups. We also have a total. The total is displayed by default. In the rows, we have a question, which was, la in the last four weeks, what types of non-alcoholic beverages have you consumed? And we can see a couple of examples, cola regular and cola diet, as the responses. Now we'll start looking at the data. The first row shows us an unweighted count. This is the actual number of people that we interviewed. So in total, we interviewed 55,436. And we interviewed 3,612 14 to 17 year olds, and so on. The next example of data is the weighted count. Based on Australian Bureau of Statistics data, we take our sample, which is the unweighted count, and we project it to represent the population. The weighted count is shown in thousands. And this is illustrated by the population with triple zero to the left hand side. So where we had 3,612 14 to 17 year olds, that is projected and it represents 1.1 million people aged 14 to 17 in the population. This is the percentage of the population who belong to the column group, the H percent. So we have 7% of the population are aged 14 to 17. 12% of the population are aged 18 to 24. We also have an unweighted count in the rows. So here we have 669 14 to 17 year olds who say that they drank cola regular in the last four weeks. And 763 18 to 24 year olds who say they drank cola regular in the last four weeks. And so on across the columns. We also have a weighted count. So where we had an unweighted count of 669 14 to 17 year olds, that's then projected to represent 698,000 14 to 17 year olds in the population who say they drank cola regular in the last four weeks. The vertical percentage relates the column to the row. So we can say that 38% of the population say that in the last four weeks they drank cola regular. 63% of 14 to 17 year olds say in the last four weeks they drank cola regular. The horizontal percentage relates the row to the column. So we have 11% of people who say they drank cola regular in the last four weeks are aged 14 to 17. 20% of those who say they drank cola regular in the last four weeks are aged 18 to 24. So you can see that with the vertical percentage, you're reading vertically 63% of 14 to 17 year olds say they drank cola regular in the last four weeks and with the horizontal percent you're reading horizontally 11 percent of cola regular drinkers are aged 14 to 17. these figures are calculated by dividing weighted counts with the v percent it's taking the weighted count in the column and dividing it by the total weighted count in the column with the horizontal percentage, it's taking the weighted count in the row and dividing it by the total weighted count. And finally, we have the IX figure, and this is the index, and it indicates propensity, so something more or less likely to happen or to be. It is calculated by dividing the V percent in the column by the V percent in the total column. The next thing to remember is the sample size. Small samples or unweighted counts will exaggerate the index, so you need to be aware of the sample size. And finally, make sure it's actionable. We would generally say that anything between 90 and 110 would not be actionable. It's too close to the average to be emphasized. 